over again. So I'll, maybe you were a really negative, bad person. So that got erased out of you. Now you're a nice person. And that's how that works. Yes? How do you use this information to uh, manifest in this reality? How do you manifest? Oh, you do, you do the, okay, you do the mind to heart drop. You, you, okay, uh, I'll teach that uh, before we, I'll do it right now. Okay. Well, then I'll have to take you out of it. Because if I leave you in source energy, peace energy, you're not going to retain what I'm talking about. So here we go. You have to command your spirit out loud. It's very simple, 15 seconds. To command your spirit out loud, you can now do it with me, uh, to take the thoughts inside of your head and drop them into your heart. So we'll do that right now. So I now command my spirit to take the thoughts in my head and drop them into my heart. So, okay, now we're going to count from 10 to 1 backwards three times. Here we go. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, right now you're out of time. Okay, your time has stopped for you on the alien timeline that you're living. Okay, remember time goes, right? Tick tock, tick tock. Right now it's stopped for you. If you look around the room here, you're going to find that nobody's really courting anybody. Everybody's separate. Okay? And so now you're in, in uh, peace energy that your spirit is giving you. Now when you get back into time, then now you're in judgment, and now you're running DNA energies that are bringing you into the timelines. And you can be uh, you know, on thousands of timelines at once, which is very unfortunate. So uh, what I'm doing today, probably in about five minutes, we'll do some water charging. So everybody have water? Do the do people that came in have water? Yeah, I don't have any water. Oh, okay, yeah, just go outside and we'll, we'll get some water. So okay. We'll do water charging, so I'll just talk some more then. I yes. Just follow up quickly. So once you get into this feeling, you just um, oh, okay, okay, yeah. For manifesting, once you're in your heart energy, then you would normally know what you want to manifest. Okay. So the more you do the mind to heart drop, you become more conscious in your body, because now your whole spirit's kind of activated with you. Other than that, it's like dormant because you don't talk to your spirit. So you have to command your spirit to do a healing on you. So you have to command your spirit to do something. So most people with spirits are just sleeping. So I use the word spirit in place of soul. Soul kind of reincarnates, right? That's what you talk about, the darkness. The soul gets, you know, has to learn. Well, it doesn't really have to learn. It's like trapped here. So I use the word spirit because that's source energy that you have. So that's the perfection that you have. So then you say the manifestation. Yeah, so, so you can say that. You may, uh, in a sense, have your spirit guide you into what you want to manifest. Uh, I have a, on my website, I have a psychic billboard energy which you put in there what you want to manifest because that's kind of read by, I'm using the dark side energy to do the manifestation. So you're kind of like tricking it. And so you, you on that, there's, there's three sections. It's $20 a month. Uh, the first one is what your thoughts are doing for you. The next one is what other people's thoughts are doing to you. Remember, other people's thoughts control your reality if they think about you a lot. And then the third one is what the aliens are doing. So you find out where you are in your life, you know, what's going on with you, you know. Uh, maybe you're trying to find a job and you can't get a job. So you put down, well, I can't, you know, I can't find a job now, that's where you are. Then underneath that, you put down what you want to have as a job. And then you uh, update that maybe every day or two as you see people responding to you differently. So you're going to make the little baby steps toward your goal. Okay? That's, that's how you manifest. And you manifest with light. So the darkness has everything that you can even think of and, and you know, creations that are out there that haven't even been thought of, but they already have a program look like a big computer. So you want to get out of that system. You want to get out of darkness. You want to get back into light. So like I said, when you're initially when you first came here, and the alien races brought you here, whatever, uh, let's say, color of skin you have, since we have, you know, mixed people here, basically, different races, well, that's an alien race. So they planted those people down here. 
and uh, it took out of you uh, maybe the intelligence that you would have normally, and they stripped your spirit of some of those energies. And so all of a sudden, you know, because you can't be smarter than the aliens, because you would, you know, probably you know give them the high sign or something and do your own thing, you know, but they're controlling you. Okay, so we all got water, I think. So we'll do some water charging, and then I'll get your question next. Okay, let's hold your glass of water. I'll uh, take 15 seconds here. We'll charge it for what your body needs right now. So if you do have a physical condition of something, maybe you have a sore throat or an earache, then just request that the water is charged to help you out with that. So I'll just count to 10 to charge it. So one, I'm going to have to command the energy. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. I'll taste your water and see how it is. Is it a little smoother than normal water? Okay, it goes down instantly. Normally when you have water, you put the water in your mouth and uh, if you <coughs> do like a time lapse photography, your body goes, well, what is, what is this person giving me now, you know? And then it has to evaluate, do I want to swallow this? Well, typically I need water, so I'll drink it. This water now just goes down instantly. Silky smooth normally. Okay, so question. If you can talk loud, that'd be great. Okay, uh, once you talk yourself down to your heart from your mind, uh -huh. does it automatically go back up or oh, okay, does it yeah. remain there? Good question. Okay, so this question is if I do the mind to heart trial, how long can I stay in my heart to be in peace energy? The source energy is peace. Right. Well, somebody could jar you out of that. And at first, maybe 15, 20 seconds. Okay? And if you can stay there, maybe you're home alone, and you, you know, your cell phone doesn't ring. So, so you can stay there for the whole day if you don't get bothered by somebody. So it's an ongoing thing that you have to constantly... You have to constantly, yeah, yeah, because you lost that. The aliens took that away from you. Whether, whether you're aware that you've lost it or not, you should do it. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. And you have to say it out loud. If you do it mentally, then you're in the dark side. Right. Then you're in mind energy. So you have two energies. You have the mind energy that the aliens created for you to think with. Then you have source energy, which is in your heart, which has no words. When you do the mind to heart drop, you can't think. You can't. I'll do it again for everybody. So we have some new people here. So I'll just do it for you. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So try to think right now. Doesn't exist, am I right? Okay. Why doesn't why doesn't it exist? Because the light doesn't judge you. There's no vocabulary in light. So what happens is there's people, uh, you know, having businesses where they do channeling, they do this, this and that, and the other. They're channeling angels. They're channeling this. You know, it's divine energies. Well, no, it's just, it's the darkness energies because what happens is they're getting information from the collective consciousness of darkness. So light doesn't channel. You can't channel. With it, it would be, it'd be darkness because it would be judging itself because you have a vocabulary and you have meanings of words. So that's what peace is. Peace is that. Peace is strictly being in the present moment and there's no communication. Yes? You, you will make lots of efforts to be in the light and all that. Still, when we die, what happens to us? Well, the only, you can't go to light. You already have light with you. So you never want to search outside of yourself. It's the teachings of Jesus, very basic. The kingdom is within, right? That's what he taught. So you you know, know that the way to get there is through the mind of heart drop. So if we have meditators in here, you know, I could ask you, why do you waste your time meditating? You know, it might take you a half an hour, maybe you got a special C D that you listen to. Well that's that's mind energy taking you off into the time matrices, okay? In the multi dimensions. And you're not here. Who's protecting your body when you meditate? Your spirit's gone. That's why they tell you, you know, at the end of the meditation to kind of move your body, wiggle your feet or whatever, you know, be here now, right? They're trying to call you back to your body. So when you're out of your body, who's mining the fort? Nothing. <coughs> what comes into you? Entities, shapeshifters, all this crap can come into you that you don't want to have coming in. Uh, most and, people... And, and you're trying to get to that same place. I, you can do it in 15, 20 seconds and you can be walking around consciously in peace energy. 
but still when you die, your body gets such a shock. I mean, what happens to you then? Well, when you die, well, the dark side takes you. The light of the darkness, the dark side, presents to you the white light tunnel that you go down, and whatever you believe in, typically, you know, like I said, Buddha, you know, Jesus, Muhammad, whatever, a rock, or, you know, a rabbit, you know, whatever your belief is in this, in your lifetime is what you're going to be looking at, and that's going to be your so-called savior, okay? And then they'll give you whatever you need to know about for your next incarnation, or at least guide you that way. But they have to dust your spirit off. Your spirit's contaminated. So when you die, your body stays here, typically, okay? And then your spirit is full of emotions of your whole lifetime. So you have what's known as a, a lifetime review because you have to get rid of the cleansing. So the dark side cleanses the spirit to get rid of the darkness that it gave to it so it can come back in again brand new to start over again to take your energy to steal it. Yes? You just mentioned emotion. Most people who meditate, I did it for many, many years, most people uh, meditate because it feels so good. It's just just this feeling of ecstatic energy, of oneness, of closeness, of love. Uh, people that are really in love with Jesus, people that are working in monasteries, monks, etc., they all have this in common, is this ecstatic, beautific emotion of going into the light and all that. So what role does emotion have in true spirituality? Okay, in source energy, all the earth is peace. So when I do energetic work with people, you don't, you know, come up to me and, and cry and say, oh man, Ron, that was great. It doesn't exist. <laughs> what I do is take stuff away from you. I take away your contamination, your garbage, your stuff. And in that place is peace. So you know when I just brought you down into your heart, you have peace. There's no emotion there. So the dark side gives you the, the, the script of, of, you know, like, well, this is great. You know, I had this wonderful healing, and I feel wonderful, and I'm crying because I got rid of this. Well, that's the dark side energy working through you to help to recruit more people around to maybe do that modality or that spiritual practice, okay? So in, in source energy, once you have something released, it, it's peace with you, and that's it. And that's what everybody's looking for is peace. But so no matter how much efforts we do in life and everything, when we die, we lose everything. Well, the efforts that you're doing is normally mind energy. So each time you do some type of modality or healing or something, and you don't use your spirit, okay, your source energy you don't use, then you get further down the rat hole into more reincarnations, and you become more contaminated. When you become more contaminated, that causes your death. So you're only dying because you have blocked energy in your body, and the blocked energy that you have in your body is from your emotions. That's the big one, yes? So where does the energy that you take from us go? If I take the darkness from you, it goes through my body to source energy, and it's, it's eliminated. So, so, so my DNA is basically turned up. I live out of time, so I don't live in your time-based reality. So you all live on timelines. I live out of time. So I can see what you're dealing with because you're, I can see your timelines, okay? So I live out of time and I can run the energy through my body because my body's been prepared to do what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'd be dead. I'd probably have a thousand or two thousand people a day doing clearings on my website. So, so, so it comes it through me and goes to source and it's out. How does it feel for someone to be out of a timeline? Okay, I'll put you into my time. So I'll first put you, you should be at, at zero. I'll just put you to zero. Yeah, right now you're at zero point. So let, this is where time has stopped. Can you feel a little more peaceful? Because you're not connected to anything in the room. When you're on a timeline, you start putting out psychic connectors to see where you are. Okay, so you feel peaceful now, a little more peaceful? Okay, now I'll put you into, into where I live in source energy which has no timeline, it's out, it's out of time. So here we go, I'll, I'll count to five so you can feel the shift in energy. So one, two, three, four, and five. There. So it's, it's pretty similar, but it's completely different. So I'm always in the moment. I don't think, if you ask me what I talked about two minutes ago, I wouldn't know. Okay, 
So what I'm doing actually, in a sense, is checking out your energies and telling you and from the questions what the answer would be. As far as a script that I have here, you know, each time I do a, a lecture, I need to look <laughs> and see what, what I'm talking about because it's been, you know, we, we, we create something months before for the magazines and then I got to look, what am I doing, you know? So right now you're in, you're in source energy and you're at peace. So what, what I want to do here, if we can get one more question, then I'll have, yeah. Could you explain how we are in a hologram and what we can do to get out of the hologram, reality, the matrix? Okay, yeah, yeah. you want to get yourself disconnected from the DNA that's activated in you. Okay, everybody think of a, uh, a physical uh, emotion that you're dealing with. It could be anything, I, I don't even know what it is. You know, maybe your dog bit you or you know, that, that got you pain and now you're upset with your dog or somebody cut you up on the highway or, you know, just anything. Maybe you came in here and they lost your information or whatever, you know, just think of something emotional that bothered you. Okay, everybody have something? Yeah, I'll just snap my finger to clear it. There. And now look at it. And it should be released. You may still see it, but you're not going to have that emotional sting, the, the anger or whatever. We can do another one for you, so think of one more. And if I do 10 of these, uh, I guess I'll do 10. You're going to say, man, life is great because this is your major issues. But you've got a whole book of these issues, so I have whole lifetime clearings on my website. So think of another one. Okay, ready? That one's released. Think of another one. That's released. Another one. That's released. Another one. That's released. Is your body relaxing? Your shoulders dropping? Okay. Another one. That's released. And anybody want any more done? Do you have any that you can find? What's bothering you? Okay, he has one. Okay, ready? Another one. That's released. Anybody else need some more? I'll work with pain now. But I'll do one more motion. So think, uh, maybe think back when you're going to school, maybe somebody yelled at you or something, maybe your school teacher said something bad to you and you're hanging on that for your whole life now and your whole life changed because of the belief system, okay? So here we go, ready? Maybe go back into childhood. Here we go. That's released. I'll do another one from childhood. Maybe your first spanking, okay? Ready? That's released. Okay, I'll do pain now. People are in pain. Anybody have pain in their bodies here? Okay, here we go. So think of your pain. Okay, this see, source energy doesn't really uh, care what, what your problems are, okay? Because it's, it's your creation. It's your experience. Because you're created it, right? It's your creation. So it's not going to come to you and, and fix you unless you request it. So all the healings that, that I'm doing for you is also working with your spirit, and then I just take the energy and process it. Okay, that's, that's the way it works. It's very simple. At least for me, it's simple. So here we go. Think of uh, one of your pains now that you have. Okay, here we go. And there's a lot of pain out there. It keeps up my finger. I used to do counting. They got kind of boring and tiring for me to count to 100 or something. So each time my finger's snapping, it's a healing. There we go. How's that feel? Any better? Yeah, I'll, I'll do what I do on my conference calls on, on Sundays, the times I do this here. So I'm going to count, I'll do a little counting now, I'll count to 100. So I want you to think of an issue that you're dealing with, could be pain, could be an emotional thing, could be maybe divorce or, or whatever you're dealing with, okay? And when I do the odd numbers, that'll be your situation, the, the out of balance energy, the negative energy, whatever word you want to use there. And then when I hit an even number, that'll be spirit infusion. So remember, we're taking it away. That's all I do is take something away from you, but you want to get your spirit back into you in that location. So the even will be your spirit coming back in. So here we go. I'll move this closer here, I guess. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. I don't think where I am, I'm out of time. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Okay? How do you feel? Did that help you? Yeah, I, I forgot what I was thinking about. Is, is that the goal? That's the goal, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Like the goal is to be peaceful because your thoughts are taking you out of peace. Remember, the thoughts deal with, uh, uh, what, what is it, the uh, law of cause and effect. You know, whenever you think of something, there's always a reaction to it, right? And so you're dealing with reaction. People say, I want to be in love, you know, or I want to have love energy. Well, love energy. What's the opposite of love? That's what you're dealing with. You're going on this pendulum back and forth, back and forth. That's the duality. That's the mind matrix. That's the alien agendas. You want to be in the exact center. You want nothing to bother you. When you have nothing bothering you, then you're at peace. Yes? Just talk real loud. You mentioned a shapeshifter before. What was that? Yeah, okay, yeah. People do have shapeshifters in them. Okay, so the shapeshifters can come in. You don't know that they're in you. I'll do our shapeshifter release here for people. Uh, so I'm not watching anybody, but if your body does a little jerk or something, one got released. So I'll count to 10 to release 10 of them if you have 10. Uh, what happens is they'll come into you throughout your whole life. They're like sitting like kind of like the back seat of the bus. And then they'll come forward to see what's happening here. And then they'll kind of go back in the back of the bus again or back inside of you. So if you're watching somebody and all of a sudden their eyes look like, uh, you know, reptilian eyes or something, or, you know, if you're really, say, psychic and you look at somebody and you see a long tail or horns or something or, or whatever, claws or... reptilian, maybe their eyes uh, look up into the right or up into the left, is that anything? Or, well, or their eyes it could be, cover? you're actually going to see a different life form superimposed over the body. Okay, they will come forward that way and they will stay that way maybe for a tenth of a second or something. You can go to YouTube and look up shapeshifters. Okay. Okay, but here we go. Uh, so if you have anything that's uh, in you, we'll just release it now. So what's going to happen to these people there? What's going to happen to them? Well, they have a choice now to come into light or not. And they shouldn't be with you because you're, you're, you know, who you are was created from light, typically, and you need to get rid of these things. So if they don't come into light, don't, they don't want to choose light, then they're terminated. They're zapped. That's it. Meaning you don't see the shapeshifters if you don't want to see them. Well, you won't see them. So here we go. Count to ten. Take out ten of them. So first one out, second out, third out, fourth out, fifth out, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you might feel a little different. You may not. But it doesn't matter. You know, I'm just uh, trying to help you out here a little bit. So don't judge if you know you felt yourself a jerk or something. Everybody has these things. You mentioned on, uh, about healing on your website. Exactly how does that work? Somebody signs in to your page on your website, and then where does the energy go? Where does it come oh, from? Oh, okay, yeah, what I have on the website is the conduit is the light vein. So, uh, light vein, what happened, I did a conference call a long time ago, and this lady was on it who drew alien pictures. And I met her in Los Angeles at a UFO conference. And so she was went up on this, I think a two hour call that I had, and she sketched off a light vein. It presented itself to her, and then she gave me the picture. So that's the picture of the light beam. Okay? So I use that for the conduit. I can also put Jesus there. I used to have Jesus and different religious icons uh, that could have been here once upon a time. Maybe they're here for 10, 10 minutes or, or 10 years or whatever, then they left. Okay? But people still, in a sense, pray to them. Well, you don't want to pray to anything. When you pray, you become prey to what you're praying to. Remember, everything's inside of you. And once you catch on to that, you go, well, why am I going outside of myself, you know, praying to Jesus? Well, you have the source energy in you. You don't want to get the, the false Jesus, the light of the darkness Jesus. So you want to get the one, you want to get yourself, because you, you, you're just as powerful as any of the masters are that were here. You just have to realize that and know that. But it's all inside of you. So you never want to go outside of yourself, because then you're hooked up. So the P-R-A-Y then you become P-R-E-Y to what you're praying to. Then you're hooked up. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get a couple more questions here, then we'll do some uh, decloning. Yes, lady back here. What can you do if you're extremely 
psychic, and you're a medium. And okay. certain situations <coughs> almost like intimidating you, where your energy is just drawn from you. How do you protect yourself? Uh, you can do a shrink wrap. I'll do that for you right now. So a lot of people who are psychic, they run their energy outside quite a ways. Okay, you don't want to do that. Remember, your, your energy that you emit from your body, when somebody walks in between that, let's say it goes out six feet, okay? So somebody walks in, in your energy field two feet from you. Well, you're picking up their emotional garbage. So it's like a handshake, and you're getting their stuff, they're getting yours. Now you got more to clean up, okay? So the shrink wrap is just to command your body to take your, your energy that you're emitting, your orc field, if you want to use that term, and you bring it right to your skin. So I'll do that for you. Ready? There. So anybody feel a little different now? Feel like a little more self-contained? Kind of like you're in a, uh, a wetsuit, you know? And so, uh, so you don't want to go out. I've I seen uh, practitioners, one, one person I saw in uh, California had the, you know, dowsy rods, right? The L-rods. And he had somebody hold this thing, whatever he had. He sell this particular item, you know, tendon or something, right? And it would somehow increase the arc field, uh, you know, like maybe 20, 30 feet. And I go, uh oh, you know. So the person, he checks them out, maybe they're 10 feet, and he has them hold, and it goes like 30 feet. Well, whatever, whoever is walking in your energy field, I mean, that, this is your energy field, okay? And you don't want anybody to corrupt it. So, you know, just do the shrink wrap. So they may say, well, you want to have a lot of energy. Well, then just do, I now increase my life force energy. And say that out loud, and you start getting more. We'll do it here ten times. Normally, I have you use your hands, but it'll take longer. I want to try to speed things up here. But what you want to do is to sample it at your house. As first, see where your energy field is. I can, you, know, you can do it now. You know, put your hands out and kind of move them in. It's like you're compressing a ball, a spring. Okay, and everybody's going to be different. And they'll, they'll say out loud. I now increase my life force energy, and now move your hands further apart. And you're going to notice that it's further, maybe uh, you know, next or you know, maybe foot. I'll say it again. I now increase my life force energy, and go out again and come in, and all of a sudden you may be out to here. So we'll say it ten times. Then you put your hands down. I now increase my life force energy. 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 There. And so now do the shrink wrap in case this happens to be going outside of yourself. So just ask your body, because your body is conscious, right? This has nothing to do with your spirit. So just ask your body to take its life force energy and bring it to your body. So I now ask my body to take, and uh, I'll use the word shrink wrap, to shrink wrap. There. And now you're, you're self-contained. So what happens, is, let's say that you uh, 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 break your arm, right? And now you got all this pain energy going out of you, and you're in the hospital, right? And you got the nurses walking, and the doctors walking, and your energy field is probably going out 100 feet. And each time they walk in front of you, if you're really psychic, you're going to go, oh, man, that hurt. You know, this lady might kind of recognize that, you know. Uh, so you want to bring that energy back to your body so you're not leaking energy out of it. So just pull it back. Because that's your healing energy, too, going out. So what I want to do is I'm decloning. Let's have some other questions here. Uh, I'm trying to remember these terms, but whenever I remember them, um those are never radio I'm programs. trying to like, write a note or something, I have to leave source energy in order to remember it. Like, uh, you told me about um, shapeshifters, so I had to write that down on my phone. Or else it would just be stuck in my head trying to remember, okay, I should look up shapeshifters on YouTube, because that's a term I don't understand about your life show. Okay, you, you may not want to look them up, though, because they could hop into you by looking at them. But, oh, you know, you, you may want to do that, but okay. <laughs> just, here I said to do one thing, you want to do it because of something else. Uh -huh. We have a time constraint? What, how much time? Ten minutes? <coughs> oh boy, okay. Well, so, then, so then how do I remember the terms then? Or, or does it matter? Or? That's somebody in here to, to, to help you out after this. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, make your people real. So we'll talk about that. I guess we can go over this is the last lecture, right? So we can probably go to ten, okay? 
So here we go. So this is going to probably frighten some of you, but don't, don't be worried because this is normal. <laughs> so here we go. You're here every, every 10 minutes. I'll start over. Every three hours, you're real here as a human being in a month. Now, what does that mean? That means that the aliens let you come back here to connect fully to your bone structure, and you're here. That's when you have your really great inspirations. Now I'm going to go wash my car that I haven't washed for six months. I'm going to clean the garage. I'm going to go out and do this, do some dusting. And then all of a sudden, after three hours, you don't care because you're switched out. So the switching out is, is that the aliens give you, uh, for some reason, it's 10 minutes. Why? Well, I don't know. But 10 minutes is a magic number. So we'll say that we got alien race over here, A. And they somehow bought you to timeshare you for 10 minutes. And they're hoping that you hurt yourself, you know, cry, get angry, get emotional, whatever. So they can take your and steal your life force energy. So they have you for 10 minutes and they create a hologram. Remember, they're working in time. So you don't know when time stops. Okay, so, so when time is stopped, remember, it's like the one zero, one zeros on your computer. Okay, so we'll just say that the one is when you're turned on and zero is when you're off. Well, that zero could be a year. You don't know that. Time has stopped for you. Just like the old movie, uh, eight millimeter, right? You know how you used to see it in the old days, you know? Like at Disneyland, you could go there and turn this crank and speed it up, go really slow and see it frame by frame by frame. Okay, so they're in control of time. And you live on their timeline. So this alien race, A will say, is controlling you for 10 minutes. And they're giving you all the mind control transmissions to do different things, hoping that you're gonna cause harm to yourself so they can steal your energy. And now, and they create the hologram. They'll create this whole room. They'll create everything that you're looking at physically and what you're hearing. Okay, now the 10 minutes stops, another alien race has you. Or they maybe buy you for the second time. You know, remember you're kind of being sold, okay? So, so now you're dealing with another alien race. They have to recreate you and your clothing and the way you look and everything else. That 10 minutes goes by, maybe they didn't get any energy off you. The third time maybe somehow the alien race sets you up with your spiritual contracts and soul agreements, okay, from your soul family, and somebody <coughs> runs into you and you trip and fall and you, you sprain your ankle. They go, ah, boy, we got a lot of energy now. We got the emotions. The person's pissed off because this person did this to me. You got the pain energy. Maybe you have to go to the doctor and you got all this scenario going on and they go, wow, we really got this person good now. Now they replicate you on timelines. So now you're out on a thousand timelines, and each one of these are identical, and they're stealing your energy a thousand times, maybe even more, okay? And then they can sell that to some other alien race and, you know, do even more things to you. I won't get into that, but we'll just keep it real simple. So the whole thing is the timelines. And now that, that 10 minutes goes by, the next alien race goes, oh, this is great. Now the person still, you know, has a sprained ankle because it's not going to go away in 10 minutes, right? And so now you have this hurt ankle for all these times on your different timelines. You could be out on millions of timelines, you know, and maybe a whole day. Now you wonder why you can't heal, okay? Because you're out on timelines. It's like a copy and paste. They'll so take that hurt foot, replicate it out on timelines, copy and paste in it, and you're here trying to heal, and these things all resonate back to you here. That makes sense to all of you? I hope so, okay? So what I'll do is, uh, for the volunteers, and I can do it for everybody if you like, I can have you come up here, and what I'll do is probably count to 100 to maybe 150, depending on, uh, on the person, the, the lowest person or the highest person I have to, have to clear. So each time I do a count, instead of being 10 minutes where you're jerked out and in, It'll be just, just in my counting process. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five. That means that five alien races lost you. Okay? And the last person that I, when I stop, the last person finally got off of those timelines. And now you become real, and I'll count to make you real. Now what will happen is, when you start looking at people here, you're going to start looking at them, uh, the ones that haven't been cleared, as different. 
you're going to see them like a hologram. They look, look like they're in a fishbowl, like they're an artificial intelligent body, like a robot, and you're, you're going to feel warmer, and all of a sudden you're going to be glowing. Now, how long can you hold this? Maybe a week. If you don't get emotionally upset, you can hold it. And so that's what I do. Yes? What, what's that? The world where they live. What does it look like? Like our world is cars, buses, trees. What is it's, their world? It's whatever they want to do. You know, I, I don't. I don't get into you know where they live. Okay. So who are they? Who are the aliens? Who are the aliens? Anything that's uh, uh, a different life form that you can't see. Okay. The okay. The aliens are are living. I got to say this a little differently. The aliens are living with you. Now, what does that mean? Okay. Uh, if you look at uh, forest fires, okay, or you look at some of the bombings over overseas, and you see the bomb, you know, they show this, you know, the bomb hits, you know, and then you get this explosion, right, and the debris comes up. Take your uh, your computer and go pause, stop. I mean, you know, play, pause, play, pause, and as a cloud is moving, you can see alien faces in there. Then you also have the alien ship clouds that are up around here. So you look at any of the clouds that are flat bottom are alien ships. So how high are clouds, okay? Because they're right there. And at times you can actually physically see how they look because a cloud forms around the ship. So it kind of like gets cloaked behind it. On my website I have a gray sky clearing. And what that's used for is, uh, at first the alien ships are, were like very present. And then they said, well, we're gonna camouflage everything with the gray sky, so you have a gray sky now. So you do a clearing on my website, and it's a free clearing. You can get on there, and all of a sudden the gray skies can clear up. You know, you hear about a storm coming or something, go on there, put that thing in there, you know, you know, a gloomy day or something. I also have a, uh, a brand new one, which is a uh, uh, environmental imbalance clearing. Put that in for like weather patterns or Things that are happening to your environment. And then you'd be able to see the alien ships. Like no, no, you don't. You don't have to, they're right with you. Okay. They're, right, they're right here in this room at ground level. You just can't see them. Okay. But sometimes they hide in the clouds. They are in the clouds. Yes. Okay. The, the cloud forms around the ship. So all the flat bottom clouds are alien ships. Okay. The old days, if you're older, you know, when you went to school, they said draw a cloud. You draw a little cotton ball. All the kids now would draw flat bottom clouds. <coughs> so the older people here know what clouds look like. And you might see the real clouds maybe once or twice, you know, a month. All the rest of them are alien ships. And they're right up there. You can just go, oh, there's a ship there, there's a ship there. You know, it's real obvious. So, are you guys ready to, uh, I could probably take maybe, uh, if you want this half of the, of the room and maybe come over here and stand. And what you're gonna feel is, uh, you probably feel your body warm up. So what I'm doing is taking away the cloned replicas of you. So what they can take, we'll just say hypothetically, is a little piece of hair and recreate you. And that's how you become cloned out. And then they can take part of your spirit and put that into your body. So you still look human in a sense, but you got 100% here. Anybody else want to come up? Any danger? No. Any risk factor? There's no risk factor. The only risk is that you want to become human. <laughs> so, and, and the aliens that are doing this are terminated. They're no longer connected to you. So, I want you all to kind of look at the audience out here, and then also kind of do a body check. Now, the people in the audience, I want you to look at these people here, and each time I count, you might see their body twist, twist a little bit or, or twitch, or maybe they might become taller, might become shorter, might become skinnier. All this can happen. They may have, remember, each time I'm counting and I'm changing that alien race, another alien race has to replicate them on a hologram, okay? And make the whole room as a hologram. So it could take them a year, we'll say, but I'm just counting, so I'm going from year to year to year. You understand that? because we don't know when we're turned off, how long that time is, okay? And so I've had people lose like two inches on their waist. I had people become taller. I had, uh, normally people can see better afterwards. Now, when you look at the audience when we get done, they're gonna look like mannequins out there. 
And I would like you all to comment on it, okay? So, so you think that the audience will change every no, couple No, 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 you're going to change. How, how, how am I going to test that? No. You, like, like if I look at my body, it'll be different? Like you're going to feel different. Oh, okay. You should feel different. So, so it's a feeling thing, it's not a visual thing? It can be visual too, yes. I mean, your clothes could be on your body different each time we do a count. Remember, the alien race has to take you and put your coat on, so take you and put your hat on. Now, what if they make a mistake? What if they get a beginner programmer, right? And they, they say, oh, uh, put this hat on backwards. You're going to see that happen. I'm not saying it's going to ha physically happen, but it will happen if they make a mistake. Have you ever looked in the mirror? When, when some morning you wake up or during the day you look in the mirror and you go, it doesn't look like me. Yeah. Well, you know, I got big cheeks, like, that's not me. And then all of a sudden, 10 minutes later, well, this is me. Well, what was I thinking, you know? Right? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to count, I'll first count to 10. And you should normally feel your body getting warmer. And now I want everybody out here to watch them, to pick one or two people and watch them and concentrate on them. Because you're going to see their body change. It may jerk, it may sway. And so here we go. Ready? So, so is the audience going to change at all, or just me? No, just just you. <laughs> They're not doing it yet. This is a test. Okay, so, so you, you said something about the ma mannequins in the audience. They're going to look like mannequins. <laughs> they will look like mannequins too. Yes. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. You all understand what I'm doing, right? So each time I do a count, I'm taking away that alien race. They're being terminated because they're screwing around with you on timelines. They shouldn't be doing that. Free will, free choice here, okay? So I should look at myself to see my No, no, <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, anybody feeling a little warmer or more, maybe a little denser, a little heavier? Denser? Okay. Anybody getting warmer? Quiet group. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so we're going to continue on here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. I'm just kind of watch these people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. She just jerked, right? You saw that, right? So, so why did she jerk? Okay, she jerked because she, she's getting more human. The real part of her physical body and her spirit's coming into her. She's reforming, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and what number am I? Am I 40? 30, 30. No, 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. I'm seeing you guys glow already. You guys yeah. seeing it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, ten. Somebody just shifted in here, so they're human right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, seventy. One, two, there. Okay, now you're all ready. So I'm going to bring you in to be human. One, two, three, four, five. There, now you're connected. So now you're actually human. Before you were a cloned replica, and you were this in three hours of the month. So how does your body feel? Well, my face feels really relaxed. There's less tension in this front area. Oh, that's good. Anyone else want to comment? I feel really heavy. Heavy? Okay. I feel more grounded and warmer. Okay, more yeah, warmer. Yeah. Like you, I, I show you. <laughs> I did change. this. <laughs> okay, when I did this, I took you off of these all these fabricated timelines. Okay. 
So does anybody, has anybody had, or did anybody have an ache or pain in their body before we started and it's completely gone now? Yeah, my corrugator Pacera's area of Montalas, it was really tense. Okay, anybody else have any physical pain? My knee feels a little pain. Okay, you can see that they replicated you with a knee problem. And the real you doesn't have that problem. So, so I'm doing, uh, making you real, and also on my website I have timeline crashes, so it's kind of similar. Yes? We started earlier when we were doing the physical, getting rid of the pain piece, but I haven't been able to turn my neck to the left. And you know what I think of it? Wow. Okay, yeah. So, so what, the, what happened was, with your neck you had a problem, the aliens gave you the problem, whatever, okay? So you couldn't turn, turn your neck to the left, so they kept duplicating that blueprint of you, right, with the, with a bad neck. Remember, it's, it's like passing the, the baton off of your whole, you know, blueprint of you, your body, and everything else. And so the real you didn't have that problem. Well, let me ask you this: thing. There's still that little knot in my neck, and I can feel it. And when I press it, it still hurts, but I can turn my neck there. Oh, your body might start healing itself. Now, you can stay this way for probably about a week if you don't get your buttons pushed, okay? The dark side is not going to like you because of <laughs> being real. Remember, we got rid of 160 or so alien races. They're, they're gone. They're terminated. Are there good ones? There's no good ones. Forget it. Don't, don't even go there. <laughs> Please. I could, be, I could be talking forever. So, Why can't they be friendly? Why can't they? Because they're, if you know about an alien race, that alien race is in duality because you know about them, okay? The, the ones, you know, but, but if you heard about them, okay? If you heard about any of these things from A to Z of alien races, they're in duality because you've heard about them. Alien races that would be created from the light, if you want to use that term, are, are just light beings or they're, they're light energies that was created from the light, and they're not going to come here. What about the ones that come in ships? that people see them, actually you see them on TV. Well, most of those are government ships. What? Probably 90% of them. Okay? Okay, you guys can say, okay, now, now, now view the audience here. Just look at them, and now look at yourselves up here, okay? And you can see that these people are glowing, and the ones out here don't glow. They look like kind of this, you know? <laughs> Sometimes they put blockages in. Are you going to do Yeah, okay. I'll do the next set. Anybody want to come up? And so, what you people can do now, since you saw this, you can look at the audience, the ones that didn't come up. And look at the audience now. The ones that came up will be glowing, because you're going to see that, and the other ones won't be. Can I come up again, or is that a violation? There's no whole thing as violations from the light. Let me just go a little deeper for you, okay? Why don't you get over here, so we, you're, 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 you're pretty tall. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. So I'll count to ten and stop. And you can feel the energy changing a little bit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you might feel your body getting a little heavier. Like I said, maybe arms and fingers are getting, you know, you're going to feel yourself a little more. So here we go. You guys watching? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 130. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 140. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one ninety. One, two, oh, there we go. Okay, ready to come in? So people watch them. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're human. How do you feel? You'd like you're born registration and, and look at the audience again. And the ones that didn't come up here will look like mannequins. And the ones that that were up here will look like real. They're going to be glowing, just like you guys. And look at each other. You're looking at a real human. Spinning, uh huh. And I feel lighter. Feel lighter, uh huh. So, anybody here have have you had a condition before you came up, aches or pains, or maybe stiffness or anything, and it's gone now? My knees don't hurt so much. Knees don't hurt as much. Okay. Remember, that they take your condition, your problem, what, it, and you know, it's just they're dealing with that energy, sucking it out of you. So, you know, and so now the real you is here, and the real you doesn't have problems. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You don't get uh, your buttons pushed. Okay. Now, when you go out out of here and you start, you start looking at people, you're welcome. And you look at people, uh, it may look a little weird to you. Okay. And though I've been seeing what you guys you know, were before my whole life, <laughs> so it's nice to see humans. As I, I look at you now, and you're all glowing. You're warm. You know, you're responsive. Before you're like. <laughs> yeah. You know, the Walking Dead, you know? <laughs> yes? Can you just share with us a little bit about whatever that experience was or experiences that you had that took you off the timeline? So I, was, I was never on the timeline. You were never on the timeline? Never time on the timeline. So what I would be, using the New Age philosophy stuff, I would be a, a uh, descended, Master and ascended master. Okay, because I'm down here. I bilocate to source energy continuously. That's why I can do this. I'm, I'm out of your time frame. Were your parents out of our time frame as well? No. They I just came in and, as, you know, I came here to help people with the ascension process so they can get the hell out of here. You know, basically, I was a healer in Jesus 2,000 years ago. So for me, it's, this is, you know, it was easier, like a thousand times easier back then to heal people. Here we got all this stuff of, of 2,000 years of, of jargon and, and uh, betrayals and, and your stuff and emotions and that you have stored inside of yourself. So it's much harder, but I don't get into the Jesus thing because it's just people go, oh, I'm not here to be idolized or anything. I'm just trying to help you. Did you knew it when you were small? Yeah. Oh, you My knew whole it? Life, yeah, I, I always felt weird here. When you did you first? Like no, I don't remember any, I don't know what happened, you know, two, three minutes ago. I'm in, I'm in the now. So the now has no memory. Just like if you do the mind of heart drop, okay? If you do the mind of heart drop, then you're in peace. And there's no vocabulary, there's no record of you being anywhere. You're just in the present moment. But you're on a timeline. So you keep doing it more and more, then you can get off that timeline. How old were you when you realized that you weren't on the timeline? I think when I got to walk through a car, <laughs> How old were you? Uh, probably four. Other than that, it's just, you know, I don't like to talk about myself. It's meaningless to waste time while talking to about me because I'm trying to help you. But you say you don't remember. You remember where you live and you remember everything, don't you? I mean. Uh, I don't hang on to much. I have a few. Okay, for myself, if I looked at my life, I would probably have maybe a couple dozen snapshots of my whole life. If I wanted to dig into it more, I could probably find something, but like, but if, I'm, if I'm trying to think of like high school, I got maybe two pictures, two, two moments of high school, period. Yeah, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, um, if we want to continue the decloning, we can call um, one of the days. Oh yeah, I, I do this exercise on Thursdays, it's $20, and normally on Thursdays I do this for an hour and a half for you. 
And what you, what, what you do is you pick on an issue that you have in your body. So we'll just say that you're fine now and uh, maybe like we'll say you sprain your ankle or something and you can't get well because you know you got all these timelines where they're sucking your energy out of you. So you come on the call and you say, remember the light needs to know what your problem is. You have to judge yourself so the light can help you because it, it sees you as perfect. It doesn't judge anything. You created it. Yes? When you, you're in the now, does it mean that you're being perennially reconstituted? Yes. Uh -huh. this moment. Yeah, yeah. So I'm continuously by locating the source energy. So when I was doing this counting here, uh, in a sense, I had to take care of the aliens. So I had to go out on those timelines and destroy them with light. Okay, they got a choice first to come into light. Everything has a choice. The light doesn't terminate anything unless it gives it a choice. I said, well, I said Jesus done the cross, basically. Asked the two people there, you know, do you want to, right? One said no, one said yes, right? Same thing. So the aliens do have a choice to do this, to come into light. And if they want to come into light, then their whole body is recreated in light, just like you were. They have a, a, a spirit in their body to make the body have light in it. Remember, you have your cells are light, and so are, is your spirit. So everything has a choice. If they don't do it, then they're, they're here taking away your free will, free choice, and that should not be done. Uh, so you go over the words of the... I now increase my life force energy is one of those things. The other one is I, I now command my spirit. I'll do it right now for you. So I now command my spirit to take the thoughts inside of my head. It's very simple. If you could make it shorter, do that, but th this seems to work for everybody. And take the thoughts inside of my head and drop them into my heart. So the heart is peace energy. That's your source energy, okay? And your spirit's there. It used to be in your whole body, so I'll drop you down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes? So we drop from our mind. Yeah, your mind to heart drops is what I call so it. So can we, can we now think with our heart? Uh, you, once you, it, 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 you, you can, yes, uh-huh. Remember, you are, you do work with, with, with your spirit source energy when you're being creative and time stops for you, okay? So you're there. Now when you get done with that, whatever you're doing, say you're drawing a picture, right? And you, you know, your time goes by two hours and you're doing this doodling or whatever, you know? And then all of a sudden you come out of it and then you get put back into time and you go, oh, this thing looks awful. And then you take it and throw it away. Well, right then you're in judgment. Yes? So how do you pay attention to something? I guess we'll just go on for a little bit. You can, you can leave if you like. Okay. You're also welcome to um, continue conversation outside. I just need to clear the room so housekeeping can come in and go straight for tomorrow. Okay. I think, are they, can we just stay for five minutes? And then... Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So how do we pay attention to something, whether it's a person or a reading matter, without recording it. Uh, okay, so what she's asking is, is if you're reading something out of a book and the word, okay, the words have keywords to cord you. To what? Keywords. So keywords are like, uh, you know, like love, that's one about love, right? Oh, well, that was the opposite of love, hate. So now you're in duality, right? Uh, uh, or you're reading something about money, or you're reading something about uh, guilt or shame or whatever, all of a sudden you get corded into that. Well, that activates your DNA. So, don't read. You know, <laughs> your, your curiosity killed the cat, okay? I'm, I, I'm sorry, but, you know, <laughs> you don't want to, you know, just, just be in the moment. All your information is in the moment. Once you keep doing the mind a heart drop, and you finally get it, it, you know, it may take you maybe a month or two, but just do it. They do it five, six times a day. And maybe the, the dark side don't want you to be in, in peace energy. So it'll have one of your buddies call you up on the phone or something to aggravate you or, or something <laughs> could happen, you know. But just be peaceful. And the more you do it, then you can start feeling that spirit energy and it'll start to grow throughout your whole body. And at some point, you're going to be thinking with your heart and acting with your thought, like with your heart, doing your thoughts, okay? So it's not up here to be through your whole body. And you won't even know it. It's automatic. It's just like when you're drawing something, right? You're out of time, and you're having a great time doing something. Maybe you're washing your car or whatever. You're in the present moment manifesting. Okay, you're manifesting being creative. 
I'm sorry. Uh, okay, if you could write a book, it would be one word. Oh one yeah, page, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's 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 my book. <laughs> yep. Well, what does that mean? Go with that now. Yeah, you want to go with you want to go to your spirit. Okay. One page, one book, one page. Go with that. That that's it. Period. Uh, there's a, I really shouldn't say there's a person here having a, a book that is the new age book for the new uh, uh, thing. And it's, you know, you could read it if you want. It's very thick, you know, probably about three inches. And it's all the new laws and regulations <laughs> of the new millennium. Well, shit, that got you into trouble a long time ago when you read those books, you know? <laughs> and so you got stuck in duality because those keywords kick you into things and, and program you from the past. And then you're on timelines, yes? Quick question. You did a cleansing. Now, how do you prove? How do we prevent what happened to us, if it happened to us, from happening again? Uh, well, the first thing is you, you need to have an emotional clearing. That's what Jesus did two thousand years ago. He cleaned you of your sins. That, that's your thinking, improper thinking, emotions. So that's on my website, and I get fifty dollars off for the expo. What I charge is five dollars times your times your age. Most of it costs you is two fifty. It takes probably twenty minutes to do. And uh, uh, you go in there and you clean out your emotions. It looks like I was doing this here, but, but it goes year by year, okay? So I do two years in about a minute. And at that point, uh, your emotions are probably about 90% cleared out of you. So that's all your triggers, okay? And all of a sudden you're gonna realize, yeah, I don't wanna go out to eat with this person or this group or be with this person over here because all they do is this here and and they keep bringing up the past, I get tied into it. Uh, all of a sudden, now you're, all that, your garbage is eliminated. And now you have to choose a new life. Because if you don't choose, you're gonna feel like, what's happening to me? Like, I don't wanna do anything. You feel like you're kind of, uh, you know, void in a sense. So now you start recreating your life over again, but you use source energy. Because your past is ruling you. All the thoughts of your ancestors are ruling you. And that's the setup here. You can never get out of here because the dark side doesn't want you to get out. That's why you have reincarnation. So the Nagellus have sound really great. You know, some people try to work on the reincarnation. Why did this happen to me? I got to find the cause and who did I hurt? Who, did, who cares? The light doesn't care. Let's get it cleaned out of you so you can start anew. That, that's what is born again of the spirit. Once you get that emotional clearing, now your spirit can come back into you where you're contaminated. You just think of yourself as like a, uh, a post office box, right? So you got this whole wall full of stuff. Well, that's your issue of your first date that you had. This is when your parents spanked you, when you went to school and somebody harmed you. All this stuff is filled up, but your spirit used to be in those little cubby holes, and now it had to leave because you're in judgment. It doesn't know judgment, it doesn't know pain, it doesn't want no trauma, it doesn't know anything that do, deals with duality, it just knows peace. Well, you got something that's not peace in those cubby holes, so you clean that stuff out. Now your spirit energy is with you. That's your only protection that you have is your spirit. That's why I say if people meditate, they go off in La La Land someplace in the Beyondo, and there's guided meditation, they're out of their body. Things will pop into you, entities and whatever can be out there, because your body's a host. It's, 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 it's an innocent host. Yes? But meditation is really teaching. You, how you go within, and yeah, yeah. I, I guess the ultimate that you finally get to after all your meditations is you can say, oh, I finally got peace. You know, that's what you're looking for. I can do it. You can do it in 15, 20 seconds and, and walk around and not be in your special room and put the earplugs in or the headphones on or whatever you have to do, you know, to be uh, in a peaceful location. You can be peaceful in a noisy room. Just do the mind and heart drop out loud and you're peaceful. So, and we always should put the shrink. Uh, yeah, mean, always shrink back your body. Just command your body to tell your body shrink back. Get this energy right to me. Otherwise, people will be walking in your orc field, contaminating you with their crud because they're emitting it. And this thing that they say, think about your past um, when you were younger and the mistakes you did. Forget all this. Forget. Just do, do the emotional clearing. Get rid of it. You don't have to work on anything. You know it's. My system is very simple. Just come in and do a clearing and it's done. They say that by remembering who you were and all that, no. Yeah, you're going on timelines. 
So let's just say that hypothetically you came to me and I'm a reader, right? And I go, man, you were the Queen of Sheba. And all of a sudden you're going to be downloaded with the Queen of Sheba the whole lifetime because you're asking for that, right? And now you had all this crud and crap from the Queen of Sheba, Queen of Sheba that's attached to you on timelines. Now you're, now you're even further down the rat hole because now you got that life of that person. You don't want to know about your past. Who cares? You want to be in the moment. So what else? Any other questions? Yes, way back there. If you can talk loud. Uh, are there different types of time? Different types of timelines? Qualitatively, the different kinds of time. But we, we usually refer to it as one word time. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I don't see any different qualities of time. It's, it's all timelines. And the aliens create the timeline for you to be on. Okay? And so you're living, in a t so like I said, initially you live 10 minutes on a given timeline, a hologram if you want to use that word, okay? And you're living there for 10 minutes, and they're trying to steal your life force energy. Okay? So if it doesn't work, you don't get hurt, you don't get upset, the phone doesn't ring, don't get yelled at, then you're, in, and you're kind of in peace, and they can't steal much energy from you. <coughs> Watch the movie, uh, it's fairly new, like maybe three weeks, uh, Jupiter Ascending. That's 100% true. And look at all the sci-fi movies, okay? All those things are true. Have you ever seen any nice aliens on those sci-fi movies coming out? No. No. Well, what are they telling you? You know? Hello. You know? So, anyway, my, my booth is uh, 352. I have a light infusion chamber. That puts light back into your body that the aliens took out of you. Okay? So it's 20 bucks for the first time. And all of a sudden, you get this stuff cleared off you. If you want to go in more, uh, for another twenty dollars, then you can. If you're going to be here, like for the weekend, then for twenty dollars more, which is forty dollars total, you have five light infusions. So you get four additional for twenty bucks. Great deal. Is your booth open tonight? Well, I don't know if they're open out there now or not, but uh, tomorrow, <laughs> the weekend. Oh, because they close your booth. I have no clue. I'm in here. Uh, I live in the moment. I'm in here. Okay? Yeah. Let's run out there. I don't know. You know, time they close down here, you know? So and tomorrow she... you have a 12 o'clock? I have a 12 o'clock tomorrow, and I have a lecture at 2, a workshop at 2, and I think she wants me to leave. No, I, I don't want to cut down conversation, but it is 10 after, it's 15 after 10, and actually the expo has closed 10, 15 minutes ago. Okay. So if you'd like to continue outside, I'd like to continue. Okay, okay.